Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today we're giving a update video on our Marlin Key West model here in Boat Club Drive in Island Park. And wanted to kind of go through the home here and we are at the framing stage of this construction project, but also just wanted to point out some of the things that we did here. Um, this is our Marlin model, it's our Key West model. And one of the things that we do with the Key West model for the Marlin is we expand the entry and you can see this over here. So you have a nice little porch as far as for the front. And then on top, uh, we have the uh, non-working cupola. Um, if you go back to our previous video that we did for here, we'll put a link below uh, that you can watch. Um, this is the property where we have the uh, higher stem wall. So we started from a lower elevation and we are about 11 feet here as far as for the finished floor elevation. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we are in the interior of the home right now. And right now we are at the framing stage of the home. So we have the windows in, um, we have all the metal studs up, uh, and right now we have the HVAC and also the plumbing rough ends as far as for the home. Next would be the electric. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out in uh, all of our Pinnacle homes is you have the vent that goes outside. So this would be either used for the microwave or for the hood vent. So when you're cooking, you can turn your vent on. It's not gonna circulate through the microwave and come back out, but it's gonna go to the, ex, uh, to the exterior and to the outside. Another feature that I always wanted to point out that I pointed out previously is how we indent here as far as for a refrigerator. And this is really nice. It allows you to get a full size refrigerator, push it back so it looks like a counter depth refrigerator. So this is a really nice feature uh, that we do in our Marlin models, our sailfish models, um, even in our yellowfin and also um, yellowfin and dolphin models. Uh, with this Marlin floor plan, the client uh, decided that they wanted to do the third bath option. So if you look at our floor plans right here, you would have a walk-in closet and this goes to the rear bedroom. And then over here, what we did was they added a third bathroom over here. And we've done this a couple different ways. So this has the third bath option from the, from the front of the bedroom. And the <coughs> homeowner here elected to put the closet here. But also what we do too is um, sometimes too, we'll bump out this whole wall all the way to the exterior. So this is all flush as far as over here. The next part I want to go over is show you this is this you know, this is really really is a garage really cool. So you can see how high the ceiling is. So you're almost talking about a I think it's 16 or 17 foot ceiling from the garage floor all the way to the top. So you can see all the construction that we had to do up here for the stem wall, when you have to go up on the stem wall, you're also gonna to have to go up as far as on top of the garage. The uh, homeowner here decided to do the pocket slider and then the sliding glass door going over here. So it's not the 90 degree. So this is what you would see if you don't have the 90 degree, you would have a post right here. And then this would pocket as far as out to here. In the previous video, you could see that the pool was out of the water, I mean out of the ground, um, and the retaining wall for the pool wasn't constructed yet, so we have done that part over here. The homeowner is gonna have steps over to the right going down, and then also steps over here going down so they can go out to their dock. All right, so over here, we have the metal studs. And then we also, what we do is we do backers against the studs. So we get this question asked a lot, how am I gonna hang my TV? Um, that's probably the biggest questions as far as what metal studs. 
I like metal studs, especially when you're doing these high walls. Um, it gives you straighter walls when the drywall is connected to it. And also you don't get the nail pops that you might with wooden studs. Um, but for here, you can see right here, we're gonna have the backers. So you're gonna have no problem hanging that large TV screen that you want to over here. Um, above me, we have the entertainment niche right above and the homeowner decided to go with the arch, but you can also, if you want more of that modern feel, you can go straight across also. So let's head into the master over here. And what we have is we have our guest closet over here. And we also have another closet over here. And what the homeowner is gonna do over here with this model is we're gonna have a standing tub over here, okay? And then here, you can see here, this is the knee wall, and we're going to have a niche as far as inside here for the shower. Thank you for watching. And please remember, if you have any questions or comments, comment below. And if you have any ideas for new videos that you wanna see, please make sure to leave me a comment. I'll read them. There'll be great suggestions for other videos that I can do as far as in the future. And also, if you're watching these videos, please make sure to subscribe and follow and like. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.